What's up, everyone? Welcome to another Tech Tuesday, aka me and Steven are playing games of CC and uh, hoping to get better at the game. Uh, I have been starting my aggro arc. I've been playing uh, these Guardian heroes and Brutes and Blocky Block heroes, and so today I'm going to be trying out Viscerai. Uh, in the spectator mode, you can see Steven's on Icelander, and I'm on the other side on Viscerai. Um, but yeah, thanks for coming to hang out. We're just going to play some games. Uh, we're here every Tuesday at 7.30 Eastern. If you're watching the recording from YouTube, you can come hang out live at those times. Um, also, we just passed 950 subscribers over the weekend, which is like pretty awesome. So thanks everyone for that. I think, I'm not positive, but I think when we hit 1,000, we can start doing like emotes in the chat. Um, I've seen a couple other channels have that after they hit 1,000, so... Uh, if you're watching a recording or you're live with us and you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. That would be awesome. And uh, yes, we do please. appreciate all of the uh, support up until now. So that's pretty cool, too. But, yo, yo, Josh. Yeah, yo, what's yo, up, everyone? Rotor Roller. Rotor Roller and Josh, what is up? <laughs> so, yeah, I have a, I have a Viscerai list from someone named Porter. He's a North Carolina local. He knows a lot of guys on the team, and uh, he... He let me use the list. Shout out to him. He got top 20 at US Nats. And uh, Steven is going to be playing the Michael Hamilton Icelander with list, which of course won US Nats. So, <laughs> yeah, but well, uh, that's crazy. Uh, what did you get at US Nats, Jake? What? Oh, that's crazy. I think I got 22nd at US Nats. <laughs> <laughs> but I was not playing that. Viscerai, so I didn't want to hype myself up too much. I got 22nd yeah. playing Bravo, and uh, most of my wins were in uh, draft. But. <laughs> But I did do pretty well for myself. I don't think I pissed off Chris Ray. Me and him had a pretty good game. I had a good game with him. Uh, wow. I did win the dice roll, so I would be pretty annoyed if I lost the dice roll in the five mirror draft as well. But, so true. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we can, gamer. we can go ahead and get started. Uh, it looks like I am going first. I'm running the erase phases. I don't know if that's correct. It seems like stopping Icelander from fusing like kind of makes sense. But uh, I'm pretty sure a good way to start. I'm not running read the runes or I think I'm supposed to probably run read the runes when I'm going first. Possibly. I actually so. also on that I am running Michael Hamilton's list, but I have no idea how to sideboard it. There was actually <laughs> a lot of choices. Um, I brought all the cool attacks, so for, hopefully we see a wounded bull this game. Uh, yeah. We're going to so do lead the here. charge and then I think I'm actually going to cast this one. Um. Yeah, erase, erase space, space, no frostbite. Yeah, true, but I can um, still do it in response. Playing the, I want to, I want to just cast the Rosetta to leak arcane damage. So you don't uh, leak arcane. I have AB three. You have AB three. My oh, boots well. always have AB. Hmm. I think we're just gonna do this. Damn. 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 Yeah, so th this is at least threatening, like, stuff. I guess I don't make a rune chant off Viss's ability either, but I'm arsenaling this one out of the four options because if I draw into a Mavrian Skies, it's usable. But I feel I like I probably have... could have made a wrong decision here. Yeah, I don't. I myself don't have a very good... Um, very good hand to not block and come back with something amazing. I'm, I'm, I'm blocking with two really powerful cards. Um, the rest of my hand is not there for the, for, for that. Um, hmm. what I'm actually going to be doing here, uh, gamer moment is even though this attack does not go again, my opponent has an action point. I will be casting this blizzard on this attack. So if my opponent wants to Rosetta Thorn, they will be foregoing Arsenal. That is an interesting option. So Even though I can, it doesn't do the go again part, you need to go frostbite. Yeah. I can either pay two to leak two guaranteed damage or just end my turn and arsenal this card. I feel like arsenaling is fine. What is it? No, well, not what I heard, Chris, a friend, but I am sorry, Chris Ray, be too something serious happened? sometimes. I don't know. I don't, I don't think, no, think nothing so. happened. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think anything I don't happened. I opened a Tiger Stripe Shuko, so I, I would probably be annoyed if that happened to my opponent as well. <laughs> In a draft sure. pod. Uh, yeah, I guess nice. I'll just Arsenal this card. Probably looking back, Arsenaling the lead to charge would have made more sense, because that plays around... Wait. 
Wait. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Oh, no, I couldn't. That, that didn't have go again. It had lead the charge action point, but the frostbite yes. still stops me anyways. Yes. But I think arsenaling All the lead true. the charge out of my options would have been best there, but not necessarily. So we're starting off strong. Uh, <laughs> just got to <laughs> figure out what to pitch here. Classic two for eight. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. Three for eight, even. Well, two cards um, for eight damage, which is on rate. Good. On rate. Shout out to our video on card numbers. Yes. Um, Shout out to Flanagan's. Very good. South Florida restaurant. <laughs> yeah, I probably pitch this. I probably play this and then I like defend a little bit more with other stuff and play, play this card. It seems like my answer is no blocks. I probably would like to have extra resources for my turn. So you're taking damage here. Also, Ooh taking damage turns off all your other stuff that cares about being less life, like Scar for Scar and stuff like that. So maybe that's relevant. Who's playing that? Not me. <laughs> oh, but you end your turn with a card in hand, which is cool. I play Lead yeah, the Charge. Yeah. I have nothing better to play. Sure. Um. And then Spellblade sure. Assault, pitching Arcanite Shard, which is a very Pog Champ oh. activity. Oh. Well, we play portal. Play a Polar Blast, no matter what. Um, probably pitching like this. I will not be giving you dominate. Dominate. Oh, I will be giving you dominate rather. Damn. <laughs> Congrats on your dominate. Thanks. Thanks. Let's see here. Dang, so that's that's actually relevant. If you play it on your turn, you can give uh you could do uh dominate wounded bowl epic. Yeah, but would I would I ever? Like that doesn't seem right. So it doesn't even yeah, have an right. on hit, so I probably take two here. Um uh, all of my cards block three if I defend rune chance instead of the attack. So taking damages. So true. And hopefully we get to block. Hmm. Not gonna look good. Not gonna look good. I feel like I'm gonna have to block a little bit more. We're digging it. Okay. This is actually insanely pog because Rune Flash is dis discounted by four, so it makes it free given my mm. my uh, frostbite. Very true. Very true. Uh, so we're blocking. Yes, that. Arknight Shard is a very strong fable for Viscerai. Blocking. I think we block a lot this turn because my opponent is coming at us aggressively um so we're just gonna uh, just do full block value it's possible that it's important i just take damage and try to come at my opponent with a on parity attack because usually the way icelander beats mr i is just to continue marin and have life parity, and then I just have lethal with storm charges because Viscera has to commit so much to kill. Yeah. Um. So I could just take all this damage and then come in with an attack, which I do have in this time around, and then just defend when I actually have, uh, just defending cards. Um, that is quite interesting. It is an interesting prospect. Muy, muy interesante. That, I think if I was gonna do that, I should have left a resource floating to any moon. Just take one more to deal three. Um, so I'm going to do that. <laughs> okay. I think, I think I'm going to attack. So I think so I'm gonna do that, that will require me to undo. Oh, no. Nope. It's still good. We got there. We got there. Nice. Somehow we got there. Nice. Can I not watch live on my phone? Did like multi stream? Oh, we're only running a B two on my side. I think um, creepers probably provides a good amount of value. So, and Porter, the person that ran this list, said that he felt like AB2 would have been fine. But mm -hmm. maybe we'll see how it works. We'll see how it goes. Yep. We're taking everything. We're taking everything. Luckily, no on hits yet. Now we attack with Rosetta for two and two. Pretty good. I wonder why on mobile, on my phone, like when I watch the stream, it's just kind of like Peter's out. Is there an it's audio issue? Weird. No, it's just like a, a viewing issue. Interesting. I'm going to have to go. I always use life as a resource, uh, especially with fact you can pop boost or just say play a blue. Exactly, exactly. Okay, sounds good. Life is a resource. Life is a nightmare. <laughs> okay. 
Yep, take five. Takes us a okay. bit, but but we're about to do the same thing. We're about to do a turn cycle in which we do ten. Which technically, if my opponent takes the whole thing, they didn't. Yeah, so we were left with the blue in hand there, which we're pretty happy with you deciding to waning moon, because I don't think I'm super excited about arsenaling that. Mm -hmm. But uh yeah. So we get to buff power. That seems good. Yep. Just I, be pretty on rate, just only one number below rate value. I actually think I can block with this Vexing Malice. Uh, you are arsenaling a card, and it's not like a random card because you didn't choose the draw mode on E-Strike. Very true. But I think I have a good amount of uh, resources on my turn. So I think blocking here actually makes sense. But then again... This could be my uh, guard, inner guardian speaking, and I should not have blocked. <laughs> inner guardian. So we're gonna Spellbound this, Creeper's just going to continuously then... act, ask if I want to activate it, I suppose. Yes. As, as soon as you block with an attack or do the appropriate action, yes. <laughs> okay, You'll always so have priority. We have... Now, we are now going to... Just play the Storm and Gloom Veil. Or read the rules. Three, three go again. Okay. Well, blocking for three. My opponent could creepers out something, but then have enough AB to like destroy creepers at the end of the turn. So I don't really believe they want to do that. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, not respect that situation. They've only made one shroom chant at this time. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Yeah. If, it, if it's just a Rosetta swing, we'll see. I thought I could just Rosetta. So there's swing. three non-attacks in our graveyard and three four attacks. attacks. Are you so told? I Gross. think no. I think I just want to uh, figure out what I'm arsling between a blue Mavrian skies or a blue shrill. I feel like arsling the blue Mavrian might be better, but yes, since we've for me. Since we've seen more attacks, maybe arsenaling the shrill would be better. Um, Just having issues with. I think I'm gonna arsenal the Mavrian. It seems more. Seems better. Um, Come in for one, two, and two. So my opponent left to floating. Joshua Dang. is rooting for Steven. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Icelander, Icelander fan could, in the chat. I could arsenal this, but this is probably more appropriate. My one of Scour came to play, uh, and I wish I could play it. Scour. Um, yeah. So you're definitely gonna get a bit of value here. Going to play Emeritus. Continue to okay. the garage here. I'll you get to two. defend two, which is I feel fine. Like arsenaling this card is ideal. Um, we get to defend the Rune Chant. Get a nice Alluvian counter. We get to Alluvian Constellas. Take two, block two. Bye bye, Scour. Activate. No. <laughs> Wait, does this even have block value? Oh hell yeah! I can just put it in the in the combat chain. Jeez. Here you go. Um, this doesn't have blade break. I don't have to start yes. blocking with my vexing quill hand and my crown of dicon. <laughs> uh, where's my Scour? There we go. Passing. Okay. Activating Alluvia. Icelander is similar to um, Prism in that you set up a board state. I mean, you try. There's there's different approaches for sure. I think you got to take the licks in. All right. So now we're at we're the same life. This is exactly where Icelander wants to be. I feel pretty in control. We are passing. We are... Okay, so yeah. Just, uh, or they can hear me only, right? Gamer moment. It's just it's a Steven stream now. So what's happening? Uh, Weasley is going wild. Per. This is a very good hand. Wait, so very, very you hand. just Arsenal passed is what happened here? Correct. Okay. It's a very good hand. Turns out, arsenaling the Shrill would have been better in hindsight. <laughs> so, 
So are you saying, is your main uh prism? Are you back on voice or is it still? Yeah, just I'm me? back on voice now. <laughs> <laughs> this is unfortunate, but I think we're just gonna do this. And then oh. go with the rune flash and just have a turn and arsenal this red Mavrian. Okay. Well, I got some news for you. As long as as soon as I get priority. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, Bravo doesn't have all these instant speed shenanigans. I'm not used to it. True, true, true. Oh, epic channel like frigid moments. Yep. So they obviously we want to keep it around. Okay, so this is now gonna cost me five. Hmm. Should I have responded to Channel Lake by removing my tuna counter? If I did my math correctly, that's what I should have done. So I think I'm going to, <laughs> <do that. laughs> I'm gonna yeah, play no. this and then respond oh. to your CLF by removing my tuna counter. He's cheating, chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so the same, depending on what happens here, the same amount of resources blocks the same amount. I just have to figure this out. Yes, but this we, blocks an on hit. Wait, I didn't do my math correctly again. Now I only have one. What? <laughs> oh, I'm not going to be able to Rosetta anyways. <laughs> Cringe. Do you want to take it back? Because you should keep. I might as counter. well just keep the counter. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, chat. Messing up over here with the maths. <laughs> You're successfully moment. stopping me from Rosetta here. Hooray. I, I get to, I get to be really efficient struggles. with my blocks. Um. Unfortunately, I don't get to do a turn of damage here, um, but it is what it is. So we still do it just because it's like, if you don't block it, I get a rune chant. But Brothers goal. in Arms is pretty pog champ, so... Yeah, with, with, nice. the, with the channel costing two and then that costing one, it's just so clean. So clean. Yeah. I love when like resource stays at zero. No floating resources. I heard about I that heard young prism. Like, yeah. Yeah, as well. Yeah. In New Zealand. And I'll be honest, I'm happy that no one showed up to Nas with Young Prism because I'm pretty sure I would have lost to it. Like, I, there's definitely been times when I lost to Prism and the Prism was on more than was on more than 20 life still, implying that, yes, Young Prism would have also beaten me in those games. <laughs> so, yeah, it's it was even with Iris of Reality because um, Luminaris was banned. So I thought I think there was the a little pulse. Or, I don't know if Matt Rogers actually said the things that he said, but it had Matt Rogers' face on it. And uh, it was just saying how, uh, yeah, it's Young Prism, they see the 20 life, it has a bunch of defense reactions, yeah. and they start going for the face, and then they get caught by taking, like, 16 damage a turn or something stupid like that. Uh, yeah, put that there, put this in the arsenal. This is not the hand. So this channel like lived, which is very unfortunate. So casting a Mavrian is going to cost me one. Casting this is going to cost me three. And I cannot remove my tuna counter profitably. So this is what the kids would not call Pog Champ. That's true. It's true. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh... It uses my whole hand. My other option is to pay one for Mav, pay one for Swarming, and Arsenal the Shrill. Because if I pay for Mav and then play the Shrill, I end with no cards. It's three more damage, but I would like to have a card in Arsenal. Chris, 3015. My idea was to play the Frost Hex with two Ice cards. Play Frost Hex and then Waning Moon with the other Ice cards. And... Um... Just have that type of turn cycle. Um, so I didn't get taxed. But any... Maybe this. playing the other one was better. Um, so my opponent. So now I have like a weird. So it's so weird. My opponent is going to be like, why is this an Icelander not blocking? It's a it's a moss, guys. It's a red, a red mob. I mean, like, he... my opponent let a red moss guy say what? The yeah. Heck? So sus. I wonder if so this it's implies probably the right, the wrong that call. I should Iris Rosetta. Probably, wrong call. probably not. But I think I'm getting taxed on your turn. Or I think I think you're gonna double 
Channel Lake frigid me again, so I think maybe just getting value there would have been fine. Ah, oh, scar for scar, epic. Yep. Except. Um, that's not good. That's not good. I just your block with the card, but it's fine. Me? <laughs> I'm just not me. me. Oh, because of wound. <laughs> Yeah. Now your wounded bull is one less damage. Haha, oh, tricks on you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I thought my opponent would swing there. I thought they would be aggressive with their abilities, but dude, they weren't. So I'm kind of stuck with an extra card in hand that I didn't need. Oh, Pog Champ. Um, but that's okay. Red Moss, guys. Um, Except this. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We have options here. Yeah. Uh, I mean, um, in retrospect, I'm glad I arsenaled the Shrill, but I do think it would have been correct to send that instead of the Swarming, because if it was a more common scenario when the Ice Hunter wanted to block, Swarming as a 3 block is way easier to block than 7 on Shrill. Hmm. Hmm. How do I want to block this turn? 7 on Shrill is really annoying. I can I can once again make my opponent forgo an arsenal, but or or I can do, but it's gonna hurt. I I am, I am in the correct life threshold, still, so I could still be aggressive with this kind of situation. Um. I could even. I could even be as aggro as to. Kind of take this. Um, Accidental there's three room more like. Yeah, there's three room chance no matter what. So I could play this. I could. I could play this out. I'll I'll take I'll take all these three. I'll take seven. Then I'll I might take five. I might take more. I might take like a, bail or something. But if I take seven, eight. If I take this, that's one, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, 7 is 13, 40, 50, 60, 17. I can block with like Coronet Peak to stay alive and then um, come back with some attacks. I'd be really, really aggressive about it. Um, hmm. Because I can't really beneficially block out this. The shrill, but I think I, I think I I think I'm gonna block. I'm gonna block the arsenal nice. card. Definitely was a mistake. So uh, <laughs> I will say that I will admit to that one. Um. So if I'm going to be blocking, I'm going going to be no longer creating a response to the rune chance. I probably won't be creating that. So I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna go pitching a blizzard. Yeah. I'm quite I happy that you did not play that blizzard. I think that's correct. I'm not sure. Uh, take that one. Uh, take that one. I need to figure out, because I'm probably going to use all my resources and stuff here in this turn to efficiently block. Um, ideally. So we go bam, bam. Yes. Okay, one. so you're blocking seven pretty efficient. Yep. I'm going to remove my Tuna Counter. Oh, cool. That's what I was kind of expecting. I'm going to play Revel and Runeblood. That's fine. That's fine. And I'm not going to risk playing this one because he can respond by taxing me. And I'm just going to be okay with arsenaling it. And I'm going to send my Rosetta for 6, 2, and 2. Yep. So... If he taxes me in response to playing this and I just can't even Rosetta there, then I'm crying. Zero, 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 zero. Put that in. Pass, pass. Pay one. Pass. And in okay, turn. So I'm going to be in lethal soon, which is yeah. not exciting. Implying so, that I'm actually going to give you these. Sure. Because I think the game's going to be over soon, and I do not need that creepers. So we're going to preserve our life total and try to not be in lethal mode. 
forgot to block with my Alluvian and uh, Storm Striders, so that was a miss. True. That was a miss on my part. We'll play Mordred a Mordred Tide. Tide. Fine. We are going to play oh. a lead the charge. Okay. And then. You did that in the wrong order, by the way. You should play lead the charge and then Mordred Tide. Because then you oh, because lead chance. doesn't make rune chant. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Uh, then we're going to play this. Learn to see. Yes, one. I missed one damage here. So here's this. Here's a pass. Here is a sink. And I can actually stop my opponent from playing, right? Uh, if, for attacking, if my opponent has a zero, like I feel like my opponent has something in the in the arsenal. Um. Or else, why would they? Yeah, this feels weird. My my Jacob, he's he's baiting me for sure. <laughs> Probably, I'm definitely not good enough at Viscerad to know when when I'm baiting you or not. So I'm gonna do it like. Hmm. I think I want the resource, the extra resources. So I, that was in their channel of Frostex. I decided Frostex, and that was probably a mistake. That's what uh, Chris was alluding to. So, I see. Kind of ripped to that one. Um. I kind of want to arsenal. Also, rip to me this not figuring out that this turn is stopped by one single tax. <laughs> <laughs> Miss sequence stopped by one single tax. <laughs> Come on, Jacob. It's fine. You get to use your resource to defend. It's kind of nice. Fair. Um, I have options. I got this, and I kind of want to choose a card and get a card in arsenal. Um. Seven is also really nice. There's also not a lot of really good spells or abilities that I could play at instant speed with Storm Shredders that are like amazing. I'm gonna draw. This 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 feels wrong. I'm gonna draw it and it feels wrong. Poggers. I think my oh. turn requires this rattle bones. Oh. <laughs> so we're gonna do that. Hopefully you didn't draw blue. But then again, you have Striders up still, so... Yeah. We're going to play this. Okay. We're grabbing a Swarming Gloom Veil. We're going to cast the Swarming Gloom Veil. Okay. Which will okay, be coming in cast... for three go again. The Swarming Gloom Veil. I think we don't block until we need to, right? Yeah, I'm probably going to get killed in response to my actions, but I've dug my grave already, so <laughs> going to try to hope that you can't kill me for some reason. Um, Sorry, Gloom Middles have an on hit. Rattleballs is a really good card. So I think we That's stop. True. We take both of those initially. We let you create another rune chant. We... What do we need? What do we need? What do we need? We need... Thomas Olsen says he loves our chemistry. I'm very sad because Steven wasn't able to come to Nats, and I'm not going to be able to come to Worlds where Steven's going. It's been yeah. too long since we saw each other in person. But Steven was one of the first people that I played Flesh and Blood with, so big uwu on that one. And then he moved away. He left me alone. Yes. I think. We are... Ooh, no Arsenal card, huh? Not going to sink here. This is interesting. Let's see what my opponent does. You're going to play this. Uh, uh there's hmm. no way that you don't have lethal, to be honest. I I don't have lethal, but Ooh. I don't have it. Um That's the problem here. Interesting. You have A B you have A B two. Like I said, there's not a lot of interesting, yeah, there's not a lot of reds. Mm. So um hmm. how do we do this let's see let's see what you do after this attack and okay I, so i, I have probably, six i can probably block appropriately to not die but we'll see i can either we'll send the rosetta and have this in hand to block one stray rune chant or i can just play this and do a lot more damage i think that's a that's a discount go wide attack it is a go wide attack. Okay. 
If I die by so, over by one, then I'll learn my lesson for next game. <laughs> so. And I can still pop Vexing Quill Hand after this to deal two more. But then you're in hella lethal. Yeah, but I would I would only pop that if I guarantee rip your card, rip uh, or like guarantee kill you. If I don't guarantee kill you and it just like rips a card, it's probably not worth it because you still have Striders. Yeah. But. Yeah. Um. So I kind of put my, I might have put myself in precarious position just because of I arsenal the frost text like a buffoon instead of a channel like frigid, but so that's probably the the main thing that it mean about this whole game. Hmm. Silly. Six total rune chance. Yeah, so silly. Um, really, I'm super close to killing you, but I, I, I gotta do the math. I need, I need one, I need, I need one, two, three, four, five resources. So the sixth one can be used to block. And, uh, I could, I could use Striders here anyway. To just give you a frostbite and stop you from swinging to Rosetta, that also could be That's a fair. legitimate use of my time. Um, that is fair. Might be the play. I might be able to play like Striders, block and, two, block two, because there's yeah. six, seven, eight, nine, ten total damage. And then your Cancellus will be up on next turn because I assume you block one rune chant this turn, and then on next turn you block one rune chant and then use the Cancellus to staff me. Yep. So I think we go one. I think we go like that. And we go one one one. Striders, one one one. Um, I think we live. If I, I'm gonna do I'm not gonna continue to do the math. Um I'm just going to There's six rune uh, chants coming at you, so you need to block at least two of them. Yeah, so I'm gonna striders. Just so I can I can get this out of the way. I'm 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 just gonna get everything out of the way here. Okay. Uh I will, of course, be paying one because I can't do anything else with that resource. And then five here. All right, so I think it's... Hmm. Pay for one and then go to one? Oh, but then you have to... Let me see. If you go to one, you have to double block the Constellus, or the, the Gloom Veil. Yeah, so did I do this wrong? Block three, three, three. I may have miscounted okay. how many there are. Yeah, there was a lot. <laughs> it says that there's so might... one. It looks like there's one more coming, but I could not be yes. sure. Yes, I think there's one more coming. Uh, let me do. I also, I also didn't do the math. I also did not do the math. So yeah, that that'll put me at one. Oof. So I can't. I can't do this. I can't do this. E, so if your other card is a blue, then you should probably just go black and block the extra rune chance. Yes, I probably I have to do this, but then I don't have it, so I'm actually in a very tough spot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but, but the, yeah, you're right. Block. You don't have Striders on your next turn. Yeah, I don't have Striders on my next turn. So I just had to use Striders there to block. You had a really good turn. It was especially pretty with good. the with the rebel back to rebel. Yeah. I could have I could have used all my I think could use all my cards to block. I block. Three less. If I use six block, if I go up three life here, and then I still would need it to block with the other card in my hand, and probably have to arsenal. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna. I can just. I think I can just chalk this up to me not like doing quick maths. I think I'm okay with that. Um. I think I'm okay with have that. Uh. Yeah, we have to we have to block here. Oh, you gain a life off fighting spirit. That's nice. It is nice, but it might not be enough. I might be. I mean, be. And I have striders. You have to have like a really awful turn. Yeah, we'll see. Also, I lost AB two, so now Rosetta swing actually goes through. Ah, oh, this is uh, not bad. This is not bad. I will say, this is so... a not bad hand to. Try and get back into this game. Unfortunately, I blunder of a mathematics. Hmm. I think I actually popped the vexing quill hand 
Mm. Cast the Rune Flash paying one, and then cast the Shrill of Skull form. Because That's you big. cannot do any arcane to me. So how much damage? That would be two. Uh, you would have one floating, and then Rune Flash would come in for four. You could block with a three block and go to one. You would have two cards left in hand, and then Shrill of Skull form would come in for six. And you would block the one rune chant with the one floating and then lose the two cards from your hand. And I would arsenal this with one rune chant floating. So that seems like the play. A little bit risky. You're good. I think it's good. I'm going to pay one for this. So pay one. Oh, we're not making rune chants off this because I didn't play a non attack this turn. Yes. That's okay, though, I think. Because Shrill okay. still comes in. With the bonus from the not? vexing rune chance. Can I not always hold Pryo? I guess I can't, huh? Uh-huh. You're still forced to pitch for the initial rune chance anyways, so. Ooh. I guess I'll get another yeah. spirit. Let's see if you have enough to Ooh, that's pretty good. To do everything. That is unfortunate. So popping vexing was definitely risky there. <laughs> so if I pay two, I will not have enough to do anything. Well, I guess I'll be able to Rosetta you, which will not be. What is it? Does it'll it... cost three. It'll cost three, and it's just coming in for two. Yes, but it is lethal. So we're yeah. gonna have to do that. Yeah, and I'll block. We'll block. Nice. So again, precarious because I didn't do the math. So. We're chilling, we're chilling. We're chilling, we're chilling. Is this gaming? Lead into Quill yeah. Hand into Amp so that I can still Thorn. Oh man, I do not know enough about Viscerai to quickly analyze the difference of this line. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be oh honest. Oh my god. Lead into Quill Hand into, into Amplify. Amplify. So cast the Amplify instead of the instead of the uh, rune flash and no more ab2 on opponent yeah interesting yeah you probably had a line this is just probably. a puzzle right thing i also i'm also probably playing my lines like super like incorrectly so i'm gonna play this and then the amplify is now going to cost me one which is cool you cannot tax me and then now i can finish the game i think with Rosetta. yes yes you finish the game for sure uh, uh... Because now I don't get, unless I have another life gain. He he. <laughs> another life gain. Uh, the final fighting game. spirit is a very good card. No. Then we do this. No. No. Nice. Yeah. I could have had better lines. I definitely probably had better lines. So I'm going to try to think more. Do you need to switch your sideboard <laughs> or do you want me to quick click quick rematch? Um, we can do a quick rematch and see if the sideboard is correct. Probably I wonder if field. spectator mode accepts quick rematch. We'll see. I do also wonder that. Oh, it does. Pog champ, but we have to re-enable uh, caster, caster mode. mode. Yeah. So you always goes first though. If we do a quick rematch all the time like that, so that is the the caveat. Ah, okay. So I don't. I, I can never get to go first. I'll switch on the next one then. Yeah, yeah. On the next one, that's the also. <laughs> Smoke knows a bit about Icelander. I know. I know. I would love to hear Ethnic Smoke's thoughts on the big attacks. I don't think he has an official statement out there on Wounded Bull, Scar for Scar, and uh, what's the other attack? Vandal's Fighting Spirit. So, give me the deets. Give me the So, if I go lead the charge and then play the Vexing Malice, we make it awkward for you to block my stuff, and I end with a Rune Chant. And Arsenal this, which likes having rune chance. So I think we're going to do that. I'm not, not versed not on... the action point? You're okay not getting the action point? What? Yeah, you're probably okay with not getting the action point. Yeah, I'm just arsenal. arsenaling. Yeah. Yeah. So let us AB... Hmm. This is the thing with the game. So, realistically... I would AB3 here, this thing, by pitching into Alluvian for the first prevention and then the boots for the second prevention. So I would only have 
So I would have zero resources. That way I would get an Alluvian Constellus counter. Um, just so everybody's aware. Um, so I'm going to pretend I don't have that resource floating for the sake of this uh, argument. Uh, and then Pankaj says, I need to write them. But if Michael Hamilton thinks they're good, then it must be good, lol. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you Dexter see Dexter's comment? Also. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dexter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a lot of Get things baited. that uh, Icelander Get can baited. do to mess my turns up, that's for sure. Yeah, baby. So we give you two free filters, which overall is maybe not the best thing to two do. Two free filters and an Alluvian Constellus count. Ah, true. I need to keep the Alluvian Constellus in mind. Oh, we drew like a pretty good hand. Or we take it. Yeah. I think we go. We don't want to arsenal this. We kind of, kind of want to arsenal this. I almost kind of want to play this as well. My opponent said they have a good hand, so maybe I just like Coronet Peak instead. <laughs> uh, I probably arsenal this card as much as I hate it. I thought I took this out. Why didn't I take this out of the deck? I hate Polar Blast. I hate Polar Blast so much. Um, I could. No, Ice Journal doesn't do anything. I could just attack with this card. I think I just peek. I think I actually just peek. It's gonna be really awkward. Or a net peek. Oh, versus this type of day, I got no idea. I think we pay with this. This is gonna cost me two. Oh, hmm. Goodness. And we don't really have a play. Anyways, so we might as well just pay with this. Probably going to end up arsenaling Noise. this card. Uh, but if for some reason you did an arsenal attacks oh. effect, then we're probably gaming. Not like this. Uh, No. So this is going to cost us three now. Mm -hmm. Sort of been better if my tuna counter was up. Mordered rune, and then you're gonna like pitch your last card. Interesting, interesting. Uh, yeah, it sort of been a lot better if tuna was up. Maybe I should have just held off somehow. One. I don't know how though. We. Oh, maybe if I did. Maybe if I just went mordered into shrill and passed the turn, and arsenal or kept the um. I think I could have gone Mordred into Shrill and discarded this card instead and kept the Rune Flash in Arsenal because then it would have been completely free. Even even that bully Sean. Sean has brains. Sean has flesh and blood brain. It's just He does. Does he use it well? Who's to say? I think Ethnic Smoke is the top tier flesh and blood YouTuber. <laughs> So the I question agree. is, I agree. I feel like arsenaling this is just better. Like it's literally just four damage now, or four or more damage later. So I might as well just arsenal it. Um, I cannot think of any reason why I would not want to arsenal it. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna wane him on you in the here. Except. I think I, I think I take the alluvian damage as it comes. Um, unfortunately, my opponent. Allowed me to block super efficiently, so this <laughs> fatal spying spring rate does not gain me any health. So Dang, that's sad. too bad. Sorry <laughs> about that. I will uh, take your damage. Thanks, 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 thanks. Enter an arsenal pass. Yikes, this hand. Yikes, gonna this hand. Send the Gorganian tome. I think hmm. we're gonna end with that card in arsenal. So we're gonna play this. I'm gonna get hurt. Uh, not make a rune chant, unfortunately. Yeah, so just kind of go with efficient damage. I'm I'm winning the life trade here, <laughs> uh, but I might get bopped here. I'm gonna pay one resource for amplify, which is pretty good value. Yeah, I think we just want to take this. Um, and I I kind of want to block as efficiently as possible. Also, just like dig, but. I don't know. I'll, I'll take the guaranteed play. Interesting. I'm not, I, don't, I do not enjoy sinking um, cards. 
all much Sink. because I like to just do the guaranteed thing that I can with my hand and putting a random equation into the situation just doesn't feel right to me. Um, so this is why I will not. Okay, I, will not. I have a cool plan. I'm going to play this Revel, and then I'm going to Rattle Bones for Rune Flash as an extender, and then I can Tunic for Rosetta. If you... Hmm, that's stopped by a single... That is stopped by a single tax effect. So that does not seem very good, actually. <laughs> Seems greedy. Uh... But actually, no, because... If you tax me before I cast the Rattle Bones, I have so many rune chants that it eats up the tax. Or before I cast the rune flash, I mean. But it doesn't matter because you would see this entire line and be able, and just cast your tax after the rune flash and stop me from rosetting. So I think we're just Josh, gonna be my opponent conservative. Is we're just gonna do this and then Rosetta. Yeah, this is this is the worst thing that could have happened to me. I cannot, I cannot use my cards to the appropriate value. Now I feel bad for not uh, yeah. sinking a card. But... That would have been a pog champ play if you could not tax me. But but so we're gonna take a lot of like damage here. Fair to use another sink very now. My very efficient block last time is very bad now, and I hate it. You hate it. <laughs> I'm being efficient. Darn. All right. We uh, could have probably sunk that card, and it could have gone a blue, and then I could have like blocked three instead of two. So, but I get to ignite, I get, but I get to do a wounded bull for eight. So actually, I'm happy again. Wounded bull for eight, <laughs> and this hand is a little bit sus. Ah, uh, I, I am a roller coaster of emotions over here. <laughs> um. Also, getting the blue would have guaranteed also that I get a little encounter. So, probably should have sunk there. Like are we yes blocking just to preserve our life total because our hand is kind of bad or are we going to try to do some gamer moves i don't know what gamer moves i have access to that are not stopped by a single tax because i could <laughs> yeah uh, my hand is funny. pretty bad hooray I have the advantage I like how the Wounded Bull effect appears on the sidebar. Thank you so much. So I wonder if we just block three and then cast the Amplify the Arc Knight. <clears throat> and try to draw something better. And then I get to block six and attack with Wounded Bull again. So. <laughs> and then you just keep winning <laughs> trades for sure if, you, if that's how this game goes. Um... I cannot think of any other options, so for the sake of time, I think that is what I will do. Yeah, Vesera has a me. hidden amount of really good lines. Yeah, or like I'm sure if I was a mastermind, maybe I could come up with like a slightly better math line, but I'm giving up and I'm just going to cast the Amplify. <laughs> <laughs> I have given up. My I don't know. It, the, the fact that all of my cards were yellows instead of blues made this a hard turn to figure out. If they were blues, I had some play with like maybe creepers or something, but I think we get to do a tax effect for the first time in forever. So this is kind of cool. I don't think um, the tax effect matters for me this turn because I yeah, not sorry. Uh, I get to. Else. I have Aether Ice Vein. Yeah, I have Aether Ice Vein. Oh, an turn. aggressive one. I see. An aggressive one. So I was just thinking how I want to um, go about it. And yeah, I think it's fine if I just cast it and then Waning Moon for two. Um, I have to keep the other card in my hand no matter what. So blocking with it does, is literally nothing. Take, take three. And then hopefully stifle your. Damage while presenting some of my own here. It's it's ether ice vein. It's, wow. a, it's unfortunately also a blue one, but I would love to draw blues. <laughs> Bull Apparently, is OP. I cannot though. You know what? You know what the correct phrasing for this is? Bull is on rate. <laughs> and that's what's important about the card. It's two cards for eight. 
is the rate. It is clean. It is fine. And that's what you want in a flesh and blood card. Imagine a zero for five. Disgusting. That's, that's OP. So zero I can either discard like this guy and it will be there for later Rattlebones plays and just cast the Erase face. No. Or I can discard the Erase face and go Mordred swarming, creating True. two rune chants, meaning it will be a zero for four go again, and then have one tax left over to do Arcane. So I think I'm actually going to do that instead. That still puts swarming in my graveyard for um, my Rattlebones. So, <laughs> I like AB3 in this match so that Blue Ice Rain isn't a blowout at instant speed, but it's wounded worse if they want to throw a Wounded Bull at me. <laughs> yeah. Um, that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Also, drawing a blue would have been nice there if I even had AB3. <laughs> <laughs> if I had one. All right. So, we're going to cast a Mortar Tide. We are insulated okay. against a single tax, but if you have a CLF or a Winter's Bite, then I'm screwed. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> Wrecked. I need to respond by um getting your you, my you, tunic down. Getting your tunic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can Yikes. you can restart the turn if you No, I think to. it should give me another priority before the channel leak. Before the there. channel leak, like, yeah. Yeah. I guess. Oh, I do hear the echo now. No, oh, I, I was I'm, probably I'm, I'm, I was talking very loudly. close to the mic. That was my bad. And yeah, creepers is very hard, hard to use. use. So yeah, so put that slot as your AB slot. I get it, I get it. Yeah. Can you do anything? Are you just going to Rosetta Swing? I don't know what you're doing. I'm if just going to pay swarming, one for Swarming. But it's two. What? No, I I broke the Frostbite by paying for my uh, Tunic. True, true, true. But now you can't attack. Yes. Um, I cannot attack again, but at least I end with two Rune Chance. It's not Better than nothing. Hit. So, we just block three. Unfortunately, have a floating resource. Disaster. I could. Is my iron hide. Hmm. And then just take my opponent. I like using iron hide here. Then I don't have floating resources, and I I love having real floating resources. Um. I think we're gonna do that. As silly as that may seem. Um. Just take an extra damage, but use all my resources appropriately. Big fan. Big fan. We end our turn with two Rooney boys. Seems it says good. my opponent is on AB2. Yikes. So another one. Is this a moment where moment. Oh, this the the rune chant pop up? You can't see it on stream, but the rune chant pop-up makes it so hard for me to visualize my <laughs> turn. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to think real hard right now. Right. Um I think we can cast so if we discard this guy we can cast this <sighs> room blaze have one floating pay for creepers to cast that and uh that would be worse than jacob well you know you know all right i think i'm probably making the wrong decision but this is what we're <laughs> me doing. last me all of last game honestly we're going to cast a Spellblade Assault. Oh. <laughs> this Which hand. Mean? What the Oh, hell? you your channel lake stayed around. Oh, so I made a big mistake. <laughs> I made a big mistake. You're so funny. Um, That was I wrong. Really Let me just undo this. <laughs> I had a better play. Go to this turn. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to Rattle Bones. Oh, I'm gonna so end up arsenaling the uh But then like it doesn't target? I guess I have to ask you because like the thing is won't be Oh um So the question I can either target swarming or uh rune flash. I think I just target the swarming because it's costs one cheaper. Um right. have you so... considered one tax? Yeah, so if, even if I get taxed again, I can still play the Swarming. With Shadow Lake? Oh, if you're going to... It'll cost two. Yeah, the Swarming will... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to Rosetta here, no matter what happens. So, I guess Fairly you have another certain. blue? Okay. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I have okay. another blue. 
Okay, okay. Yeah, so I think we target Swarming here. It's the safest because Rune Flash cannot be, um, I guess, choose a card to pitch. Uh, I think we... Hmm. I guess if I targeted Rune Flash and got taxed, I would still be able to cast it. Yeah, so I could, yeah, pay zero here, I think. I think I, I might have to redo this, but because like the the pop up is also like annoying me. Yeah, <laughs> um, it makes it hard to look at your hand. So I could just block that that, and then my turn is just that, and then arsenal that. Um. Yeah, so I don't even get to block, but I. I... Yeah, Channel like frigid is such a hard card to play around. So I don't even block because I I have the I have the tempo here so like I just do this. Uh, I have the tempo here so I just I just do damage. I don't even block this. So I can block two and arsenal this know. card, or I can take two and use this card to pay for Rosetta. Blocking sure. two and arseling seems to be honest to be better. So that's what we're. Gonna yeah, do. I think I have the the advantage here, so I'm happy to take three. And then waiting for three. Yikers. I think yeah. we lose in this one. Yeah. I'm actually doing appropriately this game. Don't get to keep channel around. I could have like held a bunch of more cards, took in a lot more damage. But oh I would have taken goodness. Rosetta Swing. What a large attack. I would have taken Rosetta Swing. And I do not like that. Um, so if we block six, we only go to ten, which means we should still be safe from lethal. But if we block three, we go to seven, which seems a little bit scarier. And you are not super low, but I think I can maybe. I think I need to just pressure you and hope that you don't have exactly lethal this time. <laughs> uh, let me block with let me block with my creepers. Fair. Just so that we can try to stay out of lethal range. Arsenal. I'm gonna play Mavrian. Okay. Um, Mavrian. Do we want to respond to Mavrian? Um, I could do quite a few things here, like quite quite a few things here. Or I continue to be defensive and send out the big attack. Another. Options, options, options. Three, six, yeah. Looks like we're going to continue to be defensive, and we're going to be really annoying. Hopefully this this could stop my opponent as well. So let's try bada bing, bada boom. Oof. The third Aether Ice Vein. So if we take the damage... Oh, this is not taxing me, which is it's important. not taxing you? I mean, it does? Like, you'll lose a card? Right, but it doesn't give me a Frostbite, which means that I can still Rosetta you after my thing. But if I go to five, then I am dead to... Eight. I think we just have to. Nice. I'm gonna discard of this guy. Um... We probably get to block with Corner's Peak here, but let's we'll, we'll see. Then we send this. Yeah. Um, my opponent has one floating, and my opponent is at five. So I'll have four rune chance after this. So my Rosetta will be coming in for four plus four is eight. So the, this isn't even lethal because it's 12, which is unfortunate. True. And this is a red mob. Yeah, so I think I... To, I'm incentivized to block, and my opponent is also very incentivized to block. Oh yeah, if you didn't block this, then actually it is lethal. <laughs> um, so I could just I I'll just play the slow game. Um, yeah, I miss block there a little bit, but it's fine. Here you go. It's fine. Okay. Blocking five. All the blocks. And now I, now I just stop all these rune chants. 
see if it. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, one, if you just star. went to some number and waning mooned me here, then I'm just dead I, on your next oh. turn. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. I should have blocked two less rune chance there. I don't need to. I deal you three and then go to two. That yeah 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 yeah. 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 yeah well, I just yeah, I just yeah. lose on the next turn cycle. For a fact. True. I think keeping Easter will be better as you have storm streeters. I know it it it, uh, it obviously forces two cards out of my opponent. Um, by doing that play by just taking a bunch of damage, I do have the life power to do it. I think I could do like thirteen different things, and I still I think I still. Oh, yeah. Can you undo as much as I can undo? Because now I don't you need want me to do a whole turn over. Sure. So I casted this. Oh, I, I did respond. And then I discarded oh. the swarming. Oh, wait, no. God. <laughs> ah. We're going to pitch. You were always going to pitch that and show. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Because we're pitching to. So I think there's because of the the weight of the life differences. I think there's a lot of different ways that I could have won. You know, uh, but we only block one with this card, and then we allow this to happen. We block three, five. But also the thing about this deck is that it doesn't have strong red attacks. So the lethal range with Sword Shriners is a actually a little bit like quite a bit low. Maybe. It's not like 10 or something crazy like that. Um, it also has a, a few less blue attacks. So hmm, it's quite interesting that's in that regard. Zero, 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 zero. That's yeah. a six, one. We dying. <laughs> Parcel. Um, sick. Yeah, that's, that's, this is probably the strongest attack. Uh, Mr. Holmes to say it. Um, Michael Hamilton put in the deck. Which is a little. Your arcane damage can have dominate. It already does effectively. Yeah. And I don't think, you know, I, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to be mean to you here. <laughs> <laughs> Casting uh, the Mavri in there actually didn't make sense given that I changed my mind and sent the erase face instead. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I'm dead no matter what. So and Meredith is four. So yeah. GG's. GG's. I will do a normal rematch this time. I'm gonna yeah, try AB3 as Dexter suggests. No, I agree. It is super fun that to send the big attacks. Icelander, it's it just takes advantage of so many things that your opponent is doing. Should I try? Hello chat, should I try? Crown of Providence instead of Coronet Peak. I think Coronet Peak is still important to keep the channel like frigid around. Um, should I try Tunic instead of Alluvian Constellus? Um, Alluvian feels pretty thing, good. One of the things that I'm like not sure about. With Alluvian, every three turns you get two resources. With Tunic, every three turns you get one resource. Numbers. With Tunic? That could be fine, Amo. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I removed the three Amulet of Ice and the three Insidious Chill because I thought that I did not need to set up against this opponent. I just needed to keep life parity. We saw that come to fruition there. There's actually red Aether Ice Vans in this list. I didn't see anything. <laughs> I didn't see any of them. Two gains. It's a disaster. Um, I'm giving the Wilden Bulls. I'm also not bringing, just for the for the chats, I removed the Amulet of Ice, I removed the Insidious Chill. I removed two E-Pots. And also removed two brain freeze. Because by the time my opponent cast Mobry and Skies, the hand cost two. So brain freeze blue does not do anything <laughs> uh, to stop my opponent's turn. Unless they specifically have Swarming Gloomville for some reason. But I think my deck, now that I'm looking at it and talking about it out loud, the deck board is, I want to say, 90% correct. Maybe Hamilton does something funky. Do I finally get to go first? Yes. Yes. Maybe I want the setup cards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. I get to... Bad. <laughs> it's not what I want. Kind of not what I want. Master mode? So, oh, yeah. Frostex is not a bad turn one for you. 
Yeah, it's not terrible. I think I pitched this, get this down. Maybe maybe keep this in my hand. Maybe put this in the arsenal. It's going to be a weird stuff. A thing that I did see Michael Hamilton do a decent amount in the in the final matches is actually Arsenal lose a lot less. Um, which was intriguing. This requires me to keep a three-card hand. This could stop my opponent. All these cards are good. All these cards are good. I wish I could kind of keep everything. Um, I won't have anything to play for my arsenal, so this is actually... I don't know if this is actually fine value versus Viscerai because I'm always pitching to rune chance. So I'm going to try it that way. I'm going to try it that way. We oh, do not have a oh, no. super amazing start, so we are just going to cast this because we literally can't do anything else. Oh no, Tim. <laughs> oh no. Uh, at least he came at me with like a uh, pretty much a nothing burger. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he drew four attack hands. <laughs> I, I drew, I will show you what I drew. Ooh, nice um, life gain moment. Life gain moment. Um, can't play my arsenal, but you came, but then I get to take another life. Oh Let's my go. gosh, it's actually nuts. Let's go. Wow. Um, Three for eight. Good turn cycle for me. This card blocks three, and on our turn, it will not really... I side out the yellow findals. I always keep chest against Viz. Yeah, I changed the deck up. I agree with Mo. You only need one E-pot. Um, Findal I... is very nice for breakpoints because oftentimes I'm coming up with four or seven, and you can gain a life while still stopping a Mavrian breakpoint. Yeah, so that's why I enjoyed... I That's why I was thinking about the yellow over the one E-pot. Or, I'm, I'm sure you mean the whole list overall. Um, But, I, yeah. Oh no, so we we are insulated against one tax effect. Uh, but not a double this. tax. How do I do this? It just lead the charge. I don't care. We're gonna we're gonna do more efficient attacks our turn. And that's <laughs> block fantastic. six or deal eight. Deal eight for sure. Wait. Aggro was that a rune Islander. chant? Was that a rune chant? Undo. Undo. Yes, there was a rune chant. Cause Two total rune chants are coming in. Yeah, so this is this is all block. This is all block. We're, we're we're gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming. We're gaming. Yes. So we're blocking the arcane damage instead because it's the same amount of block. Um, but I get an Alluvian Constellus counter instead. I would like for you to swing Rosetta the Thorn. Thank you. Thank you. Zero. You only get one Rose, one Alluvian counter per turn. Correct. Still so strong though. Epic. We are <laughs> blocking this. Uh, and a, no, we're not. We're preserving resources. Nice. Actually, I did not need to preserve resources. It's fine. I'll give you another chance to attack. Oh, that's very nice of you. Yeah, because I think <laughs> and I we have alive. tunic up next turn, so we're. Our tunic allows us to be um, insulated against a single tax effect. So yeah, we send the red is. Mavrian. Okay. And then we have the red Shrill. The quintessential Viscerai movement. I am not if going If you give to me one tax, I can Rosetta you. If you give me two taxes, I will be sad. <laughs> so I will. If you let this hit and give me no taxes, then I can do this arsenal thing. <laughs> ah. That checks out to do that. Yep. Okay. And then I'll Rosetta. Take a Rosetta swing. Uh, oh, yes, I would like to do 12 right. damage off of three cards. Epic. Yes. I mean, you have to create an aura. Viscerai moment. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Very difficult gameplay. Oh, well, this turn's probably Red Aether Ice Fang. This, oh, if you did not Aether Ice Fang me. <laughs> if you didn't do something that is a good plan for you to do, then I would be able to do a good plan. <laughs> if Icelander wasn't the hero Oh, come on, Icelander. bro. You're refusing <laughs> this channel like frigid in my face? Dang, that's crazy. Oh, man. Um, hmm. The funniest. I think we're going to have to discard word. the Revel to this, actually. Let's go. Pretty sure I don't really have another way to get that. 
I don't think I have a way to cast that. Gamers, I've gained three life. Yeah, you're pogging Pardon out myself. with your life gain effects. <laughs> then turn. Is it all a mystery card? Mordred? You're yes. still going to go for it? I guess you have the... The apropro things you need to... I think I can remove my tunic counter turn. this turn to do my thing. So this would be costing me two. I would have one floating. Rosetta will cost me two. So yes. Then we're going to do one of these. Swarming. And then. Yeah, so you can still attack. I see. I see. That's yeah, what you mean, just, right? yeah, we're just resetting after this. Um. The swarming is a for four because of Mordred. Um, a little unfortunate. I mean, we get to do, we get to be efficient, but Alluvian is not doing anything. Yeah, you can't rebel, which is great. Uh, yeah. So, I'm still getting shipped. Yeah, just do this. It's fine. Rebel would have been nice. Zero, zero, zero. Pass. Pass. A uh, peak. Coronet peak. I need to. Do, I need to do the damages. If I pay this now. This becomes cheaper next turn. So that's Pog Champ. <laughs> oh my God. I see what you mean. Arsenal. Nice. These are the attacks I'm looking for. But the it's really alone. not cheaper by that much. So, <laughs> Sag. It still matters. It still lets me... Uh, that's great. Mm. Yeah, this is fine. No. Oh, crap. You still have Channel Lake out? Yikes. Come on. I am Iceland. It's fine. I have two We're blues. We're in the land of the ice. We really are. I am going through the very frigid expanses. <laughs> Um, this is going to cost me three, so we are going to pitch. Oh man, and that red mob. If you tax is... me, then I will not be able to Rosetta, but you still have to block this for four, which hopefully isn't red mob. Yeah, that red mob on hit is also super annoying. So we'll be paying, and we probably won't be backing. So we pitch. This. Uh, I won't be attacking, right? We would do that. I could do this, this. I could do this. This. And then I could still do this, 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 and then attack. But then, like. But then it doesn't. Just keep this around. Yeah, so we're going to block like this and this because it blocks. Um, Makes sense. Am I not getting taxed? Uh, no. So you get to keep your one resource. Nice. Extra resource for no. No, you're not getting taxed. I, I, yeah, if I give you an extra tax there, yeah, that would have been. Yeah. Good. But... So I guess you don't. Oh, oops. I guess you have like a physical attack in your arsenal oops. or something. Can I undo? Pay one. We're doing damage. What the heck is this hand? Yikes. We must block. Some, uh... <laughs> Honestly, yeah. we should just block with this as well because I don't want to arsenal it. It's quite sad. True. Nice. Nice. Do I get some... Some uh, chill? Yeah, you do nice. get some chill. Hopefully you don't use this to cast more channel lakes against me. <laughs> I'm trying to think how I want to do this hand because it's not bad. Um, I could do that. I could pitch. I could peek you. I think I think I'm going to use this over. Oh, I can't peek you if I use it to block, which is what I was planning to do. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think we always the on hit doesn't matter. And this Icelander deck happens. is like poggers, very poggers. Yeah, good, good, good word, good word. So we emeritus, damn, one float. Yeah, we Saturday. pay. 
Look who can get seven value out of their two card hands. True. Which is not as good as you getting eight, but still. Oh. They block like this. Nice. <laughs> Force my opponent to block with striders. That's value. Cancel. Activate, right? Get the free, free damage here. Nice. You are dealing lots of damage. And then I'll have to end my turn here, which is fine. Um, hmm. we do this. No. And we target swarming. No. And then we cast the swarming. Hooray. I hope you don't have a tax effect. We yeah, have the hypo that we haven't been using this. Epic. <laughs> Big sad. <laughs> I have not used hypo the whole game. So like Alright, so we're gonna be having to pitch kinda chill. One of these, which is not nice. Uh so we block like yeah, we just block like this. Keep our life total high. And keep sending attacks at my opponent that they will be very annoyed at. I'm gonna pay one. I could have I could have I could have taken three and done waiting move for three. Like, you had two cards in hand, so you probably had a blue. Uh, so it probably wasn't valid to do so. So I think I, I'm going to stand by my decision, and I'm just attacking for seven. Attacking me for seven. I want my resources, and going to nope. seven is, like, maybe out of your lethal range. That's what I said. And my turn is poggers. That is what I said. So we're going to hope to make this turn to put you on the back foot. Damn. Damn. Hmm. What do I do? Seven on hit make three Rooney boys. I have lethal. <laughs> you have lethal? Um nah, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> um I need two cards to do this. And I, I do want to threaten you like a bunch. And probably arsenal that card. I probably want to threaten you with only one card, actually. Um, so it doesn't matter how many rune chants you have. Interesting. I could, could also do that. Bop you for three. So I think, I think we're blocking. And I'm going to get bopped. Blocking with this card like that. And then... Yeah, I get to Waning Moon too, so that's important. And then I get to keep this card in Arsenal, and then I'm just going to take the whole shebang. Hypo. I'm getting hypoed again? Yeah. <laughs> that's so unfair. That's so unfair, he says. <laughs> what the heck? Where's my creepers when I need them? Creepers would have been uh, perfect here. Is this a red mob? I'm going to let you get the room chance, I think. It's very nice I think of I need you. To, I think I need to... Hmm. I could just not let you... I think I, I could just play safe, not let you get the room chance. And try and be really aggressive towards you. Back to back hypothermia. Very yeah, sad. Back to back hypothermia. Should I play it safe? Should I play it safe? Chris says play safe. Play safe? You got it. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom. That is a lot of blocking. <laughs> And then you can block one or all three, however you want to do it. With Luckily, I have a blue, but yeah. maybe this would have been better if I had a blue next turn. But obviously, I'm going to prevent the damage. Okay. Enter. Gaming. Uh, sure. Arsenal. Cool. We are going to let's see if I cast this. My resources are very mm. limited. But otherwise, I have no real. I think I have to. Hmm. Mm. I'm also hmm. This turn would be poggers if I popped the quill hand to start. But then mm. you would only have to go through one AB, which would be a, f a five and an eight. 
or a five and a three would make eight. And I could stop that. But if you had any more than a five and a three, which would be like a red Aether Ice Vein and a Waning Moon. If you had like an Aether Hail and Arsenal plus a five and a three, then I'm pretty sad. But given that I'm fairly far behind, I think I actually want to do this play. Mm -hmm. uh, but my Revel's not turned on if I don't play another non-attack. Mm -hmm. I think I have to play this. Mm -hmm. I guess I could play Revel just to fulfill the non-attack condition for my other stuff and keep the blues. Do you want to think about it turn a little bit more? Yeah. Because if I play Revel, then I can at least keep extra blues in hand. Because playing the lead the charge means that I don't have enough blues at all. What does Dexter say? Maybe Dexter has the, the sauce. Someone in chat help me with my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Please, play by play, help Jacob. Please. <laughs> yeah. If I play the Revel, I can go Revel, pay two for uh, Rune Flash, and then pay one for Rosetta and have lots of extra resources. Or I can yeah. pop Quill Hand, play the Rune Flash, yeah, sorry, we I can't change the size of my hand because of spectator mode. So you can only see Steven's hand very clearly. Yeah, I thought they updated this. I thought, ooh, yeah, did a little update. I thought I saw cards being a little bigger um, in the Talishar development cycle. Um, oh, there he goes. Um, yeah, we're just going to do it this way. My brain's melting a little bit, and I don't think that I get a significant advantage from being defensive here, because if I be super defensive and deal less damage, then you just have even more room to pretty much kill me. Uh, have you ever... Sorry. Have one. you ever had your opponent tank so much for you to just wait for them to do an action so that you can kill them? Yeah, you just have a guaranteed kill on me, probably. Uh, I actually do, and it actually is on the back of... Um, it's actually on the back that I have to respond to the rune chant. So Interesting. <laughs> oh, you need one more alluvian counter, is what you're saying? Yeah, the alluvian counter is That's gonna be funny. Clean. I wouldn't use Quillhan unless it's gonna push lethal, surely. Um. Yeah. Can you can you undo? I'm definitely not pushing lethal. So he casted this. Yeah, so I'm going to do this. And I'm going to pass, and I'm going to respond to the room champ pop. Pitch. Pass. Play. Bam. Epic. Bull. We're going to pay for two of it, of Rune course. Blast. Because that's all we can do. We will discard a card. Then I will pay one rune chant. Uh... Giving you the Illuvian counter, uh, then that. Oh yeah, that's the, definitely lethal. Doing the <laughs> be BBM about it. Best blue spell. Yeah, best blue spell as well. A red spell to do it. So add the damages. I think exactly. I think we can play one more. Sassy resources. May I? Because Ice Under is slow, and we only have thirty minutes. Can I please play Jank Master so I yes, Mr. Jacob? Let's do yes. it. Yes, everybody, you're in for oh, a so treat. Also, that means I have to make a new lobby really quick. I can do that. You're in for a treat. I get to play my Jank. I think you've Masters. played that on stream before. Maybe once. I don't get to play it enough. Is all I'm saying. So I'll send you the invites. Hard. And then uh, we will get some Jank. Yeah, this this aggro race. So that's it's a Briar deck. So I don't think I respect the arcane damage. But hey, given boys. that I actually know that it's your Briar deck hey, and doing a lot hey. of arcane, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna counter pick you. But I could actually do that. Uh, uh and I bring the the aggro package cards that I have available to me. 
Yeah, that sounds right. I actually changed one car last time. Uh, um. Uh, so yeah. I am going first. G L H F. So you're gonna either read the rooms this time around. Yes. I will be adding one read the rooms, so I can search okay. it off of that thing. That would become the Ark Knight card. Spectator mode enabled. Yes, thank you. Caster mode. We are first. We will be. I also don't bring an AB, but I, and I should have. <laughs> and I actually should have. Pitching into grasp. And then Sick. playing Spellblade Assault. Um, I'm going to give then, my opponent two good cards. I think we oh, arsenal so. the red Spellblade. Because, I mean, Amplify will cost one next turn, which is pretty good. But actually, yes. I want to arsenal the Amplify. Bring AB4. Oh, it's only uh Bring A B four. You're playing Kano Briar. Yeah. So that happens. Then we have the Amplify, oh, which is pretty good. We're we're funky. Funky gaming here. I think my um, turn is actually pogging out, so that's my cool. turn. Is not that good. I'm about to say no block so many times, guys. I'm ready yeah, for this. me too, though. Um, could do this, this, show this, do this. I could also just do this, do this, show this, get a blue. Uh, just get the value of the attacks. Or... Do this. I've only goldfished this deck, so <laughs> it's a bit tough. I could just do this, 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 play this, get an embodiment, and like just use my superb block ability. So I'm not gonna get value off of my I usually do. So I'm just gonna play Minoism a little. No blocks. Embodiment here, playing an amulet of lightning and attacking for two and two. Nice. Also, no blocks. Yep. Hoping. We have a mortar tide. That's then fine. we have a Mavrian skies. Then we have a free amplify the arc knight. Pretty good. And it's a blue Mavrian, so I, it is two rune chance. I could respect this a little bit. Uh, and block like this, maybe attack for. I could just also do this, like I win my race, the race, and the amplify the arc knight attack. Okay. YouTube tells me that there is now the connection has come back. I think. Okay. I think we're back. Yikes. Yikes, indeed. There yeah. we go. If you're in we're the back. chat still, sorry, apparently we disconnected <laughs> and I didn't notice. But I think we're back now, hopefully. Yeah, it was only it was only a few minutes there. Yeah. Alright. Uh we get to swarming. Swarming can hit me. Yeah, my opponent's going to do some really big Yeah, turn. we are going to do a big racing. turn. We're going to do a Creeper's Moment. Uh, we'll set up. Unfortunately, my attacks were not as efficient as Viscerai's. Okay. Sure, probably. So like we are going to start with the uh, Red Spellblade Assault. We finally have yeah. the... <laughs> we, Steven and I did not notice that the stream went down, so we played... <laughs> I did a double Amplify the Arc Knight turn, which is pretty good. Yep. And uh, now the, <laughs> this is only like two turns later. There was not that many turns gone. So I just have to kind of survive this turn and present something to my opponent, which is a bit harder than it seems. But it's just four. I just I think I just block efficiently and 
maybe my opponent may plays some other non-attack and breaks the combat chain. Um, I grow matchup pog champ indeed. <laughs> Game over in and four I turns. Think, I think we send this card away, unfortunately. Um so it's fine. And pay creepers. one to activate creepers and then just yep. go ahead and cast this. Okay, so my opponent just getting these triggers over with so that Talishar stops asking me about them. <laughs> okay. I could just get rid of the arsenal to just ensure that I have some extra block for this turn. Uh, that's also kind of nice. I am inclined to do that. No, okay. that's my best card. That's the best card in my deck. That's the best card in my deck. What do you got? You got a yellow shrill. Yellow shrill. Followed by a Rosetta for one, two, and two. Okay. So I know the exact amount of damage you're doing, so I can think about what I want to leave in my hand to... Um, present to you the most annoying situation. I don't have an extra blue. A bit unfortunate. I could just block for six and then take five down to two. And then I can present. I think I always use my creepers next turn. I think I always use my creepers next turn. If I block for three, four, I go down to one and then I die to the rune champ. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, I should have considered blocking with grasp one turn earlier just to get yeah, extra have, two points of value out of it. So that, that might cost full, the game. Actually. Yeah, I also have full yeah, I also have full armor. Um I think I hmm. If I block like this and this eh, as an example. Take two, there's no moth trigger. Then take five. Oh wait, this is lethal. Yeah, that's lethal. <laughs> <laughs> nope, did math wrong. This is a block four. Yeah. Maybe. I think I have to block like this. And I didn't get to see any Tome of Final. Tome of Final, nice. I didn't get nice to see three that, block actually. though. Yeah, nice three block. Um I could Forced my opponent to block on the next turn by doing a play. But so this gets me down to two. I could block with my two and I can go down, down to three. Um, and, but then I kind of force, kind of do a play that forces my opponent to block. Uh, if you go to three, you're dead to any two card. You're dead to a two or three card hand with Rune Chan and Rosetta. Oh, don't worry, you're gonna. Can I lose all my cards? No, but I can block like this. Keep this card in my deck. It doesn't matter which one I block with and which one I don't. Uh, I do have one more block in my grasp as well, so I'm gonna be giving it up. Go to three. I'm gonna try that. I'll try to to make you make you block with at least one card from your hand. It see it's only one card from. Hmm. That might not be. This might not be the best. <laughs> Unfortunate. Show. Yellow snatch uh, is revealed. Yeah. So I should save a three block. <laughs> oh no. Uh, we're gonna do this. Try to get a better card. Sure. We probably are bottoming the blue lead the charge. Okay, gaming. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely gaming. Red minnowism. You're just dead when I make a, yeah. This doesn't really. I can literally just be as safe as possible and play around <laughs> Sigil of Sufferings or Sonatas and literally like block this Sorry. and still go lead the charge swarming Rosetta and kill you with Arcane. Oh. 
This is why I should have brought AB1. No. Now you are dead. This is why. Yeah, I should have brought AB1. Sad. You can do AB1 in the next one. It'll be quick too, I assume. <laughs> uh, yeah, I assume too. Uh, look, I played around the Sigil of Suffering. <laughs> no. Did the thing. Yeah, you did it. Uh, yeah. Uh, bring that. Is it better for... Yeah, Crown of Providence like was that. definitely gaming. It turned an all non-attack hand into uh, anything with Swarm and Gloomvale in it, which was pretty good. Yeah. I will go first, hopefully set up appropriately. And let's ready up. Crown gaming. I need one more card. And it will be cool. these cards. The whole deck didn't save because I didn't. I was clicking ready like madman. Yes, Brick City translates into guaranteed lethal with one use of one tricky little card called Crown of Providence. <laughs> um, caster mode. And you're going first this time. Um, can we set up appropriately? Now I have AB1. Crown of Dichotomy? Well, I guess if your deck relies on creepers a lot, then you have to use that slot. Yes. What I'm going to do is... What's up, Matthew? Oh, Matthew is our, res like our local that plays Viscerai the most. So he's definitely gonna know what's what's wrong with my play. Oh, I'm just gonna attack. I'm gonna block with this guy, and probably just leak one damage because this rest of my hand is Pog Champ. Nice. That's what I want to hear. Yeah. I want my embodiment. I'm a big fan of it. No, we keep getting some really awk hands. But that's, that's the nature of the deck, though. It's jank. <laughs> you know I have to slide. Yo, 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 yo. Wait, what? What? <laughs> no. What happening? I actually passed to the end of turn. Okay. Um, I was nah, used Ma to having Brian. to click pass because of all the instant speed shenanigans, but I didn't. Nah, Ma, uh, And then we're going to send the yellow shrill because six is harder to block than four numbers. True. True, 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 true. Hmm... Yep, so we're gonna do blocks here. Nice. So gonna block Epic three block it. moment. Yeah, every three block moment. So what we're gonna do here is block, take this damage. Um unfortunately that. And then just Ooh. keep sending on rate attacks until I can do a big turn. So but I could uh tag me aggressively as well. Okay, my turn is gaming, I'm pretty sure. If I had Tunic Counter, it would be even more gaming. <laughs> but it doesn't. Yeah, they don't have. Do enjoy Viscera. Yeah, unfortunately, the lack of Tunic Counter is unfortunate. I said unfortunate twice, but anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyways, anyway. this game is still gaming. <laughs> this, this turn is still gaming. End of stream. Oh only. God. Okay. Uh, Good. I I Good. also just misclicked. Damn it. I meant to go oh, mortared okay. first. Mortared first, okay. and then spellblade. Okay. Finally, okay, we got there. Now we have so many rune chants. It's insane. Yeah, this so list actually doesn't chance. run Aether Iron Weave, but I agree that card's uh, pretty good. That card would have been even better on this turn because it would give us a Rosetta swing. Block the. Mm. This is like the most damage that I have ever seen done. Probably not true, but it's a lot of damage. Uh, yep, you're going to do a lot. It's yeah, pretty, pretty the fact that I had Arknight Shard too. on this turn was even better. Yep. Oh, damn, yeah. It's crazy so many merchants. So we take four. I think we're just going to block with this card? We probably don't. We need, to, we need something like that to be able to... <laughs> Um, 14 rune gems. <laughs> get back into the game. We don't because even cast the rune flash. We can just keep it in our deck because it's the same amount of damage as sending the Rosetta. 
<laughs> I'll pull his Ish, indeed. GB. I'm pogging out. Oh, this, yep. turn, this turn's a lot less good by a lot. Uh, good. <laughs> I needed something. Okay. The little? Can I grab, so I grab the, the blue. Yeah, I, I, I grab the blue because it's just a free rune chant. Oh, I know what to do. I grab. Yeah, I grab the blue. I know what to do. I'm done. I, I always have. I have, a, I have a better turn than I thought. Oh, nice. To snatch. All right, so I think we block with the card here. We can block with creepers because we are not <laughs> for sure going to get value off of it next turn. Fair. Wait, actually, we could. Oh, my God. <laughs> if we get the value off of creepers by casting this, but then we draw into a blue, it would be not it would not be very good. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then we're gonna I take one off turn and arsenal this card. Don't want arsenal this card myself. So we're gonna make a rune chant and attack you. Oh, cringe. Rune. Ending with no arsenal? How could you do that to me? Oh, but your Rosetta Thorn is all the way to far five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I have literally not punished for keeping a CNC in hand because I can still block with it. <laughs> it's hilarious. Uh, our turn is going. going to be a measly grasp Rosetta. Let's do this hand. Grasp we're Rosetta. going to arsenal this. Uh, we're gonna block hand colored card value. So weird. I keep getting like really awkward. Uh, gaming hands but that's okay get to minnowism incorrectly honestly just keep like using it normally which feels oh yeah you're not weird. <laughs> that's funny I don't, I don't, I'm not yeah, you're not creepersing with them huh not creepers, um, you're not revealing to them what does our turn look like your your damage apple was really fat probably block with this just for value and then on our turn, we're probably popping off, so I don't feel the need to block. Although Every I could end up with an extra off. card in hand. No, I think it's fine. Every turn he pops off, chat. Every turn we pop off. <laughs> Very consistent, this hero, except for when he's not. <laughs> okay. No! We have enough resources to do both of these. So not like this. Not like this. Send this. Chat. Then we're going to send this. Switching this. Zero for five. Yep. Okay. Boom. And my favorite card. I can't I can't play it. I want to just play it. I just want to play it. And then I think. Yeah, so I actually could have blocked. <clears throat> if I drew into a blue, I could have blocked extra. But instead, I am going to just use my tunic counter and get extra. I'm going to end with no arsenal if I do this. But it does have an on hit. <clears throat> no. I should have led with my blue Marvrian. It's fine, though. Blue Marvrian. Wait, the on hit is irrelevant, and the go again is also irrelevant. So I'm just going to... I'm just going to actually keep my tunic counter. And I could pitch into grasp and arsenal the spell blade. I think that might actually be the plan instead. All right. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, I hope I draw another Mavria next turn. <laughs> I keep getting fortune cards. Let's put some more counters to this. Let's block like this. Um, yeah, I just keep getting uh too low. Fry with oath. I like oath. I like oath a lot. Thank you very much. Um, I think I need to do a play that allows me to to, to attempt to attempt to do damage. So we're gonna do it, and we're gonna be a little bit sad about it. Um, Liquor wisp. Liquor. That's going to deal a lot of damage to me. 
gonna tone and we're gonna give it go again. Oh nice. Any action card can gain go again from that. What is up, yes. Kurt? Um this is pretty good. Can I take advantage of the situation? I think not. I think no. Oh no, yes. I can do Hmm. I think uh, no, I can't. I can't take a, I cannot take advantage of that and do more damage. That's sad. I'm by one resource I can't do it. Mm hmm Mm. -hmm. I think I'm going to be greedy and try to block with Crown of Providence to find an extender and bottom this red shrill. I think I just go like that, like that, and then like that, and then just like... Uh, except that I just, I just kind of got to use this other card in my hand. Um, but if I go like this, like this, waste that, uh, I literally... One resource. I'm one resource off. Could I, I could get the blue, um, and play this and do that, um, uh, instead? Huh. <sighs> I think that might be the only the only play. That's so sad. You got some trying. awkwardness going on. Yeah, I would. I'm just off one resource from doing something like oh. really good. Um. Rip. Unfortunately, um, I think I have to do it that way to just as much damage as possible. So be little show the blue. Oh, I don't even. Oh, hold on! I needed red. to block this. I don't even have a red. Um, I needed to block that with Crown of Providence too. So if I don't have a red, can I do anything else? I can save the card in my card into my arsenal. Yeah. So I don't even have a red, so this doesn't really matter. So that just actually no, I oh. do need the blue. I do need the blue. <laughs> uh, I'm doing the blue anyway. Actually, okay. we're gonna remember to block. We're being greedy. We're gonna dig because if we bottom this and find a mob or lead the charge, what our up, turn is Kurt? pog. If we find a uh any other card, I'm pretty sure our turn is also pog. I'm getting away with this. Can't keep pogging out. I can't keep pogging out. <laughs> can't keep pogging out. Oh no. Uh this is my block. Yep. We are bottoming the red shrill. And doesn't really make a difference, but this is why we did that now so that we can know to be able to block more. Maroon chant pitch. But Uh, vexing. Yep, that's a lot of arcane. Yes. Um, and blocking three is more efficient than keeping this card in hand. Can't keep getting away with this. I agree. <laughs> I agree. So we blocked three. Look at this dude. No A B moment. Actually, that's true. I could have surprised him. Uh, We're gonna take two and then give our grasp. All right, we are getting there, but this rival is just being more efficient here. Goodness gracious! I mean, it's fine. Hold on, we can pitch into grasp <laughs> on this turn. Still has we... the clean hand. Still has the clean. Hand. So this happens, and then we use Tunic to cast this. Oh no, this happens, and then we cast this. And then we will have exactly uh, three to do our last thing. <laughs> no, he has everything. He has everything. Hmm. Hmm. 
Yep, we block the muscle we can. That's the reason that card's in the deck. I mean, part of the reason why that card's in the deck. Uh, it's a block three, so it goes up to four, which is nice. Um, it's kind of nice on a two-card hand as well. Uh, but I have one fear that my opponent has. Your fear is correct. Oh. I have the Amplify, if that is what your fear is. The Amplify is not what I'm worried about. Oh. Godspeed, I, mean, I guess. That's the best I could do with this hand. I, no, I thought you had... Oh, with this hand? Yeah, because you have, I have nothing floating. I guess, so. I guess so, I guess so. Um, Are you sure, though? Like, I guess, I guess the other one is not guaranteed down to one, but still nine damage. So Seems better to me. Chance. Blocking the rune chance is pretty efficient the same way that's blocking with the other card, and then I get to go in, and then I get to... Uh, my opponent, if it's right, continues to keep a three card hand. I was just continues sad to get away with it. <laughs> continues to get away with it. So I'm going to block with A, B because it's two block turns to a bl three block. We enjoy that kind of situation. And then we block with my favorite card. Nice blocking moment. Um, oh, wow. Um, this hand is something else. Um, This doesn't have go again, so I can pretty much just. Ignore the arcane damage. It doesn't I block. have any. Yeah, it doesn't. Arcane. Oh, I meant to. I have to fuse it to give it arcane damage. That's crazy. So if I go to two, I'm dead to double sigil. <laughs> which would be <laughs> pretty funny. Um, but like, I can't really play around <clears throat> anything else while still threatening lethal due to the composition of my hand. So let's do that. We'll be greedy. We'll see if we get punished. Yeah. Uh, we only died a double sigil. Otherwise, we win the game. So the game. What do you have? Didn't you just? I have enough to do. Deal? Oh no, you don't. You have AB this game. Never mind. Sorry. I have AB this game. Yeah. I yeah. you had AB this game. <laughs> uh, <laughs> also, maybe this was suspect. So I have to block the room champ. I have to block the rune chant. Okay. Block the rune chant. The red cards. Uh, and then I have to block the attack. And then I have to present something. I guess I could. Yeah. So obviously, giving you getting my fifth counter on this. Nice. Um, Value. Oh, I have to block the rune chant too, because I will be creating more rune chants if you don't. More rune chant. Okay, so I cannot present because of um. I cannot present because of uh. I only had one sigil suffering. <laughs> Ouch. But so if you keep a blue in hand, then I die. I don't think you're gonna keep a blue in hand though. I'm not gonna keep a blue in hand. Shouldn't be able to keep anything in hand actually. Nope. Uh, so I can I tap reds. Yeah. Which is wait, can I keep oh. a card? Oh I keep a card? Keep a card. Z no. Am I I'm dead, I'm dead. You're dead? <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Because of mob. Ah Mob. Mob strong. Uh, mob strong, mob strong. It's insane how strong that card is. I wait, I did you mobs, guys? Did you have a Gorganian Tome in hand or something? I had a red. It doesn't matter. Are you just saying you would have died next turn? No, like um, get... oh, you died from the arcane damage. Oh, I yeah, see. Rosetta, Rosetta Thorn Arcane, Rosetta Thorn Arcane. I see. We hadn't even Damn, gotten to I that see, point. Can yet. I see the next? Can I see my deck? Damn. Damn. It was. It was a the last digital suffering was a bit away. Oh uh, yeah, that's Damn. good for me. <laughs> yeah, not consistent, but still very fun to play deck for me. The extra so. chance, epic sauce. The extra chance. It. it... Did that really kill me, the extra rune chant? Yes, I think. I was planning on adding more blues to the deck anyway, so once I get more blues in this deck, it's over for you. If I died to double sigil there, it would have been pretty funny, though. Triptych moment. Yeah, triptych moment. Uh, yeah, I yeah. add a few more blues, but I remove some of the clunkier attacks, and it's over for you. 
I'll test out the list. And then it's over for me? All right, That's well, what I'm saying. It's- I'll be back at it again next week with aggro decks. So I got to keep learning how yeah. to not block. Yeah, I'll probably Hurts. play something else, of course. I, I need to, I need to, this still needs to do more testing. I was, I, I beat up you five. You pogged out with the, uh, give, using the Amulet of Lightning to give Toma fine all go again. But it's supposed to go to Arsenal. So, yeah, that's the sad part. Cause, uh, yeah, cause the life gain just, adju- you know, it cir- adjusts for the damage that you've yeah. given to me. So, that's yeah. what I want to be doing, but I did not get them as early as possible to do that. So this was turn seven. It lasted a lot more because I had the crown of dichotomy with me and made the game much closer. But I think if I did just add the extra blues instead of the attacks and I blocked a little bit more because my deck blocks a decent amount more, taking advantage of the embodiment with the with the extra like also the Arc Knight blocks for four, which is nice. And attacks for four as well. Hard. And it buffs. It's always online if I swing my weapon because it buffs my weapon five. <laughs> Foggers. Yeah, <clears throat> I really enjoy that about it. Um, both of the Arknight gaming. Nice play church that four times, but it, it is our time for the day. Yeah, Mister Jacob Kiss. Yeah. Um, everyone, feel free to tune in next week. Also, please. if you didn't hear at the beginning, we hit nine hundred fifty subscribers. And if you joined at the end. Uh, and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe if you feel like we deserve it. Because once we hit a thousand, I'm pretty sure we can use uh, stream emotes in YouTube and pretend we're on Twitch. But uh, YouTube is a better streaming platform anyways, because you can rewind and stuff. So everyone That's should so stream true. on YouTube. Yeah, but... I agree. I think I think uh, <laughs> like main events should be on YouTube. Yes, So like people please. have something to watch uh, while they wait in the middle of rounds, especially when it's yeah. like drafts. Anyway, Please let me rewind right. two hours and then watch everything on two times speed because I'm toxic. So <laughs> oh, two times speed is the best. Yes. Yeah. That's uh, what I anyway. always do on YouTube streams. <laughs> me too. Oh my All right, God. everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching me uh, take my first step in my aggro journey. <laughs> true. We, we went one, one. And, yes. And then I went and I went oh two. Yes. Sag. Also true. We will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.